There you go. I found one. Right, put the black one down and let's have a look at putting some gesso onto the canvas. Okay, so what you're going to need is a brush. A brush, a brush, a brush. Let's put this light on. Yeah. That's better. Ha. What we're going to need is a brush. And I'd say about inch brush, half inch brush, whatever. And um, Or you can get a house, common garden household brush, well, uh, depending on how big your canvas is. And um, I don't remember who said it, but somebody did say, um, you start a painting with a sweeping brush and you end up with a, with a, with a, with a, what did he say? I don't know, small one. <laughs> so start with a big brush and work your way to the finest detail brush you've got. That's how, that's how paintings are worked out. So you can use in a household brush. I'll, I'll, I'll find that quote somewhere and I'll say it properly. Yes. So we get our little pot and for all those people that know what I'm going to be doing now, but there are people out there that don't know what gesso is and um, we need to squeeze just a little bit into our little pot there and what i suggest you do is get your brush get your brush dip it in some water there we go why as you know acrylic and even gesso will automatically take the moisture out of the, out of the brush out of the paint if the brush is dry you put something wet on it the, the bristles are going to go and have a little drink like me i gotta get a cup of tea <laughs> so do that Get your Mr. Bottle, and I do actually recommend one of these little Mr. Bottles. This is a Clive's 5 Art Atomizer Spray, which is very, very ultra fine, and um, there are reviews going to be on that, and that is available on the website. Okay, so there's enough of that. We stand back about 12 inches, and we spray up in the air, and we just missed away. Not too worried about any lumpy, bumpy, bumpy bits that might happen, because it's not the way I was actually using it. And we'll just wet that board a little bit. Again, why do I do that? Well, the simple reason is because if that surface is dry and I'm going to put gesso on it, it's going to take the moisture straight out of the gesso and it's going to go and dry very quick. And the acrylic paints dry quick. And what do we do? We try to stop that. And that's two tips. So we dip our brush into our paint and we just apply. Look how smooth that's going on already. Look how smooth that's going on. It's not dragging. It's actually going on really smooth because I pre-wet the surface. My brush is damp and it's not absorbed any paint. And the paint is just going where it's supposed to go. And that's on the canvas. Now you can see that I'm just going crisscross, round about, up and down, inside out and everywhere. I can just to get the coverage there you go now this is have to be done at least three times you can get away with two but when you when you're actually um, when you're purchasing gesso and it's costing you money you try to do use as little as possible when you actually make your own because what you mean who's as much as you want <laughs> okay so we've covered the canvas and then I normally do is I'll go back and forth And then I'll go up and down, or down and up. <laughs> up and down. Or you could, it might, might be easier to climb if you just turn the canvas, canvas around. <laughs> and you go side to side. <laughs> oh, we do have fun. Yes, we do. Okay. Try and get that as smooth as you can. There's other ways of gessoing the canvas. This is a canvas board, so it's a bit different. Um, I'll put a link of a video again as I said up on the little i button by there and I'll show you it's an old video it, it's an old video <laughs> it's like a bit like me getting old <laughs> it's an old video but yeah you, you'll see what I'm doing you'll see what I'm doing so um, I'll have to remake that one actually thinking about it yes so we leave that dry and that dries about in about 20 minutes now it does they do say that you should let it dry for 24 hours in between coats if you really want to yes but What's the point of having acrylic? What's the point of having acrylics if you've got to wait 24 hours for it to dry? <laughs> That's why we use our acrylics because it speeds up the process. Okay, now do that twice. Now the reason I go up and down and left and right is because I won't miss anything. 
and that's what happens when you varnish as well and if you do varnish a painting you can use a matte vinium you can use a gloss medium and you can use an acrylic based varnish but i'm not talking about varnishes you acquire so yes that'll be another video but one quick tip if you do that have a little look from the side and as you see the light bouncing off the surface of the canvas you can see the bits you missed there we are tip and that is it